5 o'clock, USA. It was the mid-1950s, and in San Diego and all around the country, there was a major push to ease traffic congestion. By 1956, there were more than 65 million cars on our roads, with 90 million forecast by 1975. Companies like General Motors and Portland Cement lobbied Congress and the public, saying, we need a better system. Spacious roads of divided lanes where free-flowing traffic can save time, tires, gas as well as lives. A multi-billion dollar network of freeways, faster and more modern than the highways we had come to know. The new interstates would have their own numbers, but like other highways, they'd still be odd numbers for north and south, and even for east and west. Came the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956, and construction of the interstate system began, and with it, some myths. Like every few miles, there must be straight segments without curves that are long enough to land military aircraft on. I always heard that. It isn't so and never was. But a lot of what is true has to do with funding. And an example would be the 15 freeway. A portion of that freeway uh, north of the 8 is federally funded, and that is Interstate 15. South of the 8 is not federally funded, and that is State Route 15. Steve Welburn is with Caltrans in San Diego. See what he's talking about? Look at the sign. Going north, it has that red, white, and blue interstate symbol. Southbound, it's the state highway sign. Here's the 805. It's what we call it, right? The 805. More about that the thing in a minute. But you know, the 805 is named for Jacob Decima, considered by both fans and critics to be the father of San Diego's freeway system. Where Adams Avenue crosses over, that bridge is named for contractor and freeway builder Roscoe Hazard. And where the 805 crosses over Mission Valley, that interchange in the big span is named for former California State Senator Jack Schrade. The 805 runs from near the border to Sorrento Valley, fully contained within San Diego County. The 805 is specific only to San Diego. In fact, when it opened in the 70s, they allowed a bike day on the bridge. Uh, kids from all over the city uh, came and rode their bikes, found some very steep inclines going down into the bridge. Uh, there were a few injuries here and there. Well, and so why, you might wonder, do we call the 805 an interstate? Doesn't go through any other state. Got to be a mistake, right? No, uh, whether it's named an interstate freeway or a state route has to do with the way that it's federally funded, uh, not whether it goes from state to state. One example would be the interstate in Hawaii. It's federally funded, but it doesn't go to any other state. And finally, remember that the way of speaking, how we call this the 805 or this the 8? It seems to be something that's kind of a regional habit, Steve says. I am from San Diego originally, and I've always said the 805, V 5. I did spend time in Northern California. They do not say it. They simply say 5, 508. Uh, it's definitely uh, special to this region. So the next time you're traveling on, you know, the 805, that's a little something in passing about San Diego. Hello from the front porch. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click on the subscribe button. That way you'll know when there are more videos just like that one to see.